Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call yesterday with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King asserted Bahrain's strong solidarity with Saudi Arabia, which stems from unity of purpose and common destiny. His Majesty the King also affirmed that Bahrain has never deviated from its firm stance in support to Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King stressed that Bahrain will continue to stand in line with the Saudi Arabia in the face of any hostile campaign targeting. Targeting it out of the kingdom's belief that this is the guarantee of security and stability against all the dangers facing the region and the world as a whole. His Majesty the King also expressed the sincere appreciation of Bahrain's leadership and people to Saudi Arabia, the custodian of the two holy mosques, and the Crown Prince and its people, loading Riyadh's efforts in developing and maintaining world security and stability. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah Almighty to preserve Saudi Arabia and its people and maintain its security, stability and prosperity under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the crown prince. For his part, the Saudi monarch expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sincere noble sentiments and Bahrain's genuine stances that reflect the deep-rooted relations linking the two countries and their people, wishing the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting and congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the win of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the Ironman Championship in Kona, United States. His Royal Highness also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser and described the achievement as an honorable and historical achievement in the sports march of the kingdom. He praised the accomplishments of the people of Bahrain in various international events. His Royal Highness then affirmed the kingdom's firm stance towards the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against all threats and condemned all false media campaigns held against Saudi. He expressed Bahrain's rejection to all attempts aimed at threatening Saudi's sovereignty. The cabinet affirmed that Saudi Arabia's role in maintaining regional and international security and stability under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. It also praised Saudi's keenness to protect its country and its citizens. His Royal Highness directed to form a high-level Bahraini delegation that includes ministers and officials to participate in the Future Investment Initiative Forum held under the patronage of the Saudi King and chaired by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The cabinet then highlighted that Bahrain was ranked first among Arab countries and 47th among 157 international countries on the level of Human Capital Index issued by the World Bank that was launched during the annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund in the Republic of Indonesia recently. The cabinet affirmed that this achievement reflects the success of the government approach and policies, as well as its investing and its support to the human capital that led to achieving sustainable development. It also praised the kingdom's education strategy and its enhancing of the quality of health services provided to citizens. The cabinet then reviewed a report from the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Education that included the indicators that helped with the ranking of Bahrain. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of everyone who contributed to the Education and Health Services March. The Cabinet then welcomed the election of the Kingdom in the Human Rights Council and praised the international trust given to the Kingdom. He affirmed that this achievement is due to the honorable efforts of the Kingdom to protect human rights and dignities. His Royal Highness also directed to strengthen the supervision and increase the inspection teams on the joint rented houses for foreign workers and verify the availability of health and safety conditions and comprehensive evaluation and also directed to take legal and administrative procedures to ensure the organization of the process of renting. He directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, and the Ministry of Health to carry out the legal procedures. This came during the Council's review of reports on the unfortunate incident of the building collapse. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the measures taken by various departments of the Ministry of Interior, in particular by the members of the General Directorate of Civil Defence, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Labour and Development, and the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning on the measures taken in dealing with this incident. The Cabinet approved the agreement between the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding fees of commercial activities, where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, had previously postponed for two periods of six months until the agreement between the Ministry and the Chamber. The fees for commercial activities are 100 Bahraini dinars for the first three activities and 100 Bahraini dinars for each additional activity thereafter. The Cabinet approved a draft law amending the provisions of the executive regulations of the decree law on establishing and organizing industrial areas. The meeting decided that the Consumer Protection Directorate will be the administrative body that carries out the tasks entrusted to the Authority of Competition Promotion and Protection, which is stipulated in the law for the promotion and protection of competition. The Cabinet approved a new draft law on the regulation and control of international trade in endangered species of animals and plants. The meeting took note of the tenders that were put forward during the third quarter of 2018 in the roads, construction projects and sanitation sectors. The Cabinet reviewed the most important economic indicators recording during the second quarter of 2018. The Cabinet also approved Bahrain's participation in the WorldSkills Asia organization based in Abu Dhabi and participation in its competition, which will be held from the 25th to the 27th of November. The meeting approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree Law 2 of 1994 on urban planning and referred it to the Representatives Council. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of winning the Ironman World Championship that was held in Kona, United States. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his achievement, which adds up to his consecutive streak of successes made in various sporting tournaments. The Crown Prince said that this achievement reflects His Highness Sheikh Nasser's determination to attain such results and wished him further success and abundant health and happiness. The organizing committee of the Ironman Championship has honored the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Ironman Champion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in a ceremony attended by a number of officials and participants who congratulated His Highness on this historic achievement. The organizing committee presented His Highness with a commemorative gift upon his achievement in the championship in its 40th edition which witnessed a large participation from all over the world. Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in this honoring, noting that this achievement is a result of the great efforts and successful participation in the championship. His Highness added that the Bahraini team was able to achieve this important goal due to the development of Bahraini sports, which affirms the Bahraini athletes' presence in international sports events. He pointed out that Bahrain has become the home of the Ironman sports in the Middle East, stressing that the team will continue its participation in international championships. His Highness stressed that the Bahrain Triathlon team's participation aims to promote the kingdom by participating in the most prominent sports events and to promote the development achievements made by the kingdom in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He praised the positive participation of the Bahraini team in the championship and Sergeant Muhammad Al Rayas of the Royal Guard, who achieved fourth place in the military category. The ceremony also witnessed the honoring of women's champion, Daniela Reeve from the Bahrain Endurance Team, where she expressed pride and appreciation for winning.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmad bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, affirmed the solidarity of Bahrain with Saudi Arabia against all media campaigns targeting its security, noting that this solidarity stems from the historic and deep rooted relations between the two countries and the two brotherly peoples, as well as the from leadership of the two brotherly countries, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Al Mullah hailed the leading and vital role of Saudi Arabia in maintaining regional and international security and stability. He also commended Saudi Arabia's efforts to boost international cooperation on various political, economic and security levels, wishing it further stability and prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and crown prince. The Shura Council affirmed that Saudi Arabia is the cornerstone of stability and security in the Arab and Islamic worlds. The Shura Council expresses pride in the contributions of Saudi Arabia and its continuous support to all plans for peace and stability in the world. The Council rejects all attempts to undermine it and to harm it in any form. The Shura Council also affirms its support to Saudi Arabia's continuous steps to combat all forms of violence, extremism and terrorism. And its continued efforts to promote the principles of cooperation and coordination among various countries. The Shura Council stresses that the desperate attempts to undermine Saudi Arabia will not hinder its efforts to implement its development strategies and plans. The Shura Council also expresses its deep appreciation and pride in the brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which emphasize the unity of purpose and the common destiny of the two kingdoms. Representatives Council Speaker Mr. Ahmad bin Ibrahim Al Mullah leads Bahrain's parliamentary delegation to the 139th International Parliamentary Union meetings in Geneva, Switzerland. The meetings, which will be attended by MPs from world parliaments, will discuss a number of issues of mutual concern in addition to latest developments and challenges. President of Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened today the 2018 Bahrain Hospitality and Restaurant Expo that was held at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and organized by Culinary and Beyond Company. Sheikh Isa bin Ali toured the exhibition, which included various local and international experiences. He praised the goal of the event that supports all efforts in order to enhance the tourism sector in the kingdom for its vital role on the economic level. Sheikh Isa bin Ali highlighted the importance of the event to exchange expertise and present investing opportunities in Bahrain. He congratulated the supervisors of the event on its success and wished them further progress. The organizers of the exhibition expressed their thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa for patronizing the event. They affirmed that his patronage has supported the exhibition and contributed to attracting local and international participants. They affirmed that the aim of this international fair is to create an integrated system within the Kingdom of Bahrain for visitors, investors and business owners to meet together, create profitable links and partnership between all parties concerned. Bahrain's most anticipated hospitality and restaurant expo is already in motion and generating a lot of buzz. The four-day industry expose, which includes a culinary tour, forum and exhibition, is the largest gathering of industry thought leaders, restaurant owners, hospitality specialists and industry suppliers. Pleased to be here and to open this exhibition. It was a great pleasure and honor to have all these participants participating with us. And we would like to thank all the organizers who have come here and organize this event. It was truly a very good occasion and uh, we hope that it's like these events and these kinds of organizations that help support Bahrain and reflect the true meaning of Bahrain in the international stage. The event is aimed at elevating the industry in Bahrain and provides participants with a unique chance to network, explore business opportunities and showcase their ideas, services and products to a targeted captive audience. There are more than 50 exhibitors in the first edition, which is an uh, achievement by itself. Uh, the exhibitors uh, have uh, a various uh, uh, services that enhance the tourism sector, whether there are appliances uh, or furniture or, or IT solutions. Uh, and all of this uh, would definitely 
uh, increase the investment in the tourism and hospitality sector specifically. This expo uh, is different of uh, other any other initiatives that have been happened because it's like a series of events where it touches on different elements. Uh, so we have the culinary tour, which is the tourism, and then we have also the followed by the exhibition, which is B2B and creating linkages that's valuable and creates businesses. And in addition to that, we have also the aspect of uh, educational transfer and knowledge transfer, which is a forum that's happening on the first day of the ex exhibition. And during these three days, we also have something that we, we do, that comes with no say the technical part, the the technical part as the culinary uh, industry. The expo will also serve as a platform to showcase the innovations and success stories within the kingdoms and the regions of vibrant hospitality and restaurant sector. With great food, a wonderful atmosphere and fun for the whole family, the Bahrain Hospitality and Restaurant Expo will continue at the International Exhibition and Convention Center until the 17th of October. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. Minister of Labor and Social Development, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Humaydan, said that the Bahrain's membership in the Human Rights Council is an achievement added to the kingdom's record in the various fields under the Comprehensive Reform Project and the wise policies adopted by His Majesty the King and the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in addition to the care of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The minister also asserted that the election of Bahrain by this great consensus reflects the confidence of the international community in the kingdom's record of achievements in the fields of safeguarding rights, freedoms and human dignity. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Amai bint Muhammad Al Khalifa, participated in the second day of the 21st Conference of Arab Culture Ministers held in Egypt after the official opening yesterday. Egypt held the conference on the invitation of the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization, Alexo, under the theme The Arab Cultural Project to Face the Current Challenges. Sheikh Amai affirmed the importance of enhancing the cultural movement and infrastructure, adding that serious cultural initiatives will transform the Arab countries into modern production centers. She noted that culture is a global language and an effective tool to face current challenges. She stressed that the Arab world possesses remarkable models of cultural work and personalities who are keen on enriching the human production of Arab societies. Sheikh Amai hailed the efforts of Alexo and its continuous initiatives to solidify cultural relations between Arab countries. She invited the culture ministers to attend the concluding ceremony of Maharraq as the capital of Islamic culture events. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received at his office the Secretary General of the Union of Arab National Olympic Committees, Saud bin Ali Al Abdul Aziz. Sheikh Salman welcomed his guests who are taking part in the consultation meeting for the Arab Women's Sports Tournament and expressed his pride in Bahrain's hosting of this event, which embodies the kingdom's keen interest to support the joint Arab action in the field of sports. He also noted the important role played by the Arab Olympic Committee's unions in promoting the march of Arab sport. Sheikh Salman continued to praise the efforts of the wife of His Highness of the ruler of Sharjah and chairperson of the Supreme Council for Family Affairs, Sheikh Jawahar bint Muhammad bin Sultan Al Qasimi. An implementation of the program of financial balance, which is based on the circular issued by the Ministerial Committee for Finance and Spending Control to all government agencies, that stipulates immediate start of the procedures in order to activate the initiative to reduce government operating expenses contained in the program. The Ministry of Finance held a presentation today to all financial managers and government agencies. The directors of financial affairs were briefed on all details of the initiative to reduce the operational expenses of the government that led to formation and activation of six work teams and granting them necessary powers to take decisions and set spending controls to reduce the operating expenses of the government. The six teams will be responsible for receiving all operational expenses requests from government agencies for approval or rejection, in addition to setting standards and conditions for the basic goods and services. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain has been elected as a member in the Human Rights Council for the term 2019 to 2021. After receiving 165 votes at the UN General Assembly in New York, we were joined by the president of the Eurogolf Information Center, Dr. Mitchell Belfer, during which he said that the election of Bahrain to the Human Rights Council is a testament to the achievements Bahrain has undertaken. I mean, a lot of people like to compare Bahrain to other countries in the region, but actually you have to look at it in, in a wider um, picture. Um, I think Bahrain not only contributes to human rights internationally, but needs also to be looked at like you look at European countries. I think if you look at the level of social inclusion in the country, if you look at the religious uh, freedom in the country, um, we're looking at a, a model country. And so I think Bahrain has a lot to be proud of. Uh, and the, the, the development of Bahrain society is a testament to a country that values human rights. And uh, the election to the Human Rights Council is just, uh, I, in some ways, I think, um, you know, how Bahrain approaches human rights internally is already there. The fact that the international community is now electing uh, Bahrain to the uh, Human Rights Council is just testament to the achievements that Bahrain has already uh, undertaken. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports held a press conference to launch the first international youth festival to achieve sustainable development goals. Organizing the festival, which is in partnership with the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP in Bahrain, enhances the successive steps achieved by the Kingdom in the field of sustainable development. Ninety countries are expected to participate in the festival in order to develop youth and give them the opportunity to upgrade their society and improve the lives of other young people around the world. The theme of the festival is to provide a wide range of programs to raise awareness among young people about the importance of sustainable development goals through a wide range of events and activities for a change for the better.